Hello guys, today I want to discuss a new thing released by Taylor Otwell just yesterday called Laravel Breeze. And look at this tweet just yesterday. If you were unsure about Laravel Jetstream and Fortify and all those new things in auth scaffolding in Laravel 8, here's one of the possible answers for those guys. Laravel Breeze is auth scaffolding with only Blade and only Tailwind without Fortify, without Livewire or Inertia, just Blade and Tailwind, and also with all the public things public. So controllers public, requests public, and all of that, so easy to customize. So let's try it out and see what's under the hood. The official Laravel GitHub, as you can see, it's really, really fresh, only hours ago was committed, and the version is still 001. So still very, very early days. So let's be the first to try and understand what Taylor is thinking with that, where he's going and what can we expect. So the instruction is pretty simple. It's actually almost identical to Laravel UI in a way. Compare this one. So to install Laravel UI, you do Compose require Laravel UI and then you do some command to scaffold the authentication and all the template. With Breeze, it's really similar. You get the new application, you require Laravel Breeze, and you install it. It's kind of like Breeze install, it's identical to Laravel UI, UI Bootstrap, or UI View. So let's try it out. Laravel new project 2, I have a special folder for that. Okay, so it's done. I've run key generate, migrate fresh, and let's run compose require Laravel Breeze, minus minus dev because it's a generator, so you don't need that in production. And as you can see, the version is 001. Okay, installed, and now we generate with artisan breeze install. That's it, the scaffolding is installed, and now we need to run npm install and npm run dev. Okay, and we have success, and now let's launch our page. Project2.test. I have a domain for that. And it looks like a typical Laravel 8 homepage, right? But not exactly. If you click on register, you can see the same login form or register form like it would be Laravel Jetstream, but without any overhead that Jetstream has, so no inertia live wire or fortify. Let's register. I used fake filler chrome extension to fill in the form and we are inside of the dashboard. Empty dashboard, really similar to Laravel UI. There's no menu items, but you can add menu items if you wish. And there's no more functionality, just logout and dashboard, at least for now, in the version 001. Now, what's interesting, let's take a look under the hood what's in the code and how to customize that. When I'm trying to get familiar with any new application, I usually start with routes. So routes web is a welcome page, then the dashboard protected by auth, and then there's a require auth PHP. So there's a separate routes auth file. Let's try to find it, auth PHP in the same folder. And here you have a public list of all the routes with all the controllers publicly available. Let's try to minimize the sidebar. So get register, post register, get login, post login, get forgot password, post forgot password, then reset password, verify email, confirm password and log out. Everything is public, so you can change whatever you want in routes auth. Also with new Laravel 8 syntax of routing, you can immediately click, for example, in PHP Storm in the controller. You need to choose which controller it is. It's actually app HTTP controllers auth. There's a separate folder of controllers, app HTTP controllers auth. Those controller names are not that familiar, so there's no login controller or register controller, but it's still pretty readable. So registered users controller, create auth register, and then there's a store, it's kind of a resource controller. So store registration, validation, auth login, with user that has been just created, it's just all in one sentence, then event new registered, and redirect to home. So it's really easy to customize to whatever you want. Let's open something else. So in AuthPHP, for example, forgot password. There's password reset link controller. This one also create, store, and you can do whatever you want. So no more hidden stuff in the traits, in the vendor. Well, of course, there's vendor under the hood of core Laravel auth, 
but all the actions are public and this is the main message I think by Taylor if we open up the tweet again this is what he emphasizes himself every route and controller exported directly to your application so nothing is hidden anymore and you get the same just stream style UI just with public controller and routes and if you want to change something here it's pretty easy to do so for example you want to change the dashboard to be some other URL you go to dashboard and for example home but we leave the same name so let's log out and let's register again and it should be redirected to slash home or in fact let's check that because it's in registered user controller route service provider home and the value slash dashboard so let's change that here slash home register and we are on the same page but just under URL of home on the front end, as I mentioned, it's Tailwind, not Bootstrap. So that's a personal preference. Taylor is strongly against Bootstrap. If you want to create your own version with Bootstrap, it's kind of on your own. It's open source. So Taylor prefers Tailwind. And also what is here is Blade components. So if you open, for example, Login Blade or Register Blade, everything is powered by X-something. So you still need to get familiar with Blade slots and how they work, but more or less it's Blade with Tailwind on top. Also, if you look at Taylor's Twitter, there's more stuff coming. Breeze already has nice test suite. Well, for small amount of feature it has, but they are covered with tests. And also, there's another project coming soon called Sail. I guess it will be a bit more sophisticated. So Breeze is just a light white breeze. Sail, I would guess, would be a bit more sophisticated, or so we'll see. And of course, it's version 001, so onboarding docs coming soon, and a lot of information, maybe some more features, maybe some bug fixes, maybe changes in the code, so I wouldn't advise to use Breeze just now. It's very early days, but what do you guys think? Would you use it? Potentially, it could replace Laravel UI in the future Laravel versions. Just instead of Bootstrap, you have Tailwind. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments. And as usual, I remind you, if you want to get more videos like this one, you can support this channel by doing one of two things. First, use our Laravel Admin Panel Generator, quickadminpanel.com, or enroll in one of my Laravel courses at laraveldaily.teachable.com. See you guys on other videos.